We're back now with Money Talks and the latest trend in the workplace, career cushioning. It's when employees worried about losing their jobs trying to protect themselves by taking steps towards career advancement like networking or updating their LinkedIn's. The trend gaining traction after high profile companies like Spotify and Hasbro announced layoffs. For more on this strategy and why it's gaining popularity, I'm joined now by Dr. Jessica Kriegel. She's the chief scientist of the workplace culture at Culture Partners. Dr. Kriegel, thank you so much for joining us. Tell us more about career cushioning. Why are workers preparing these escape plans? Well, can you blame them? I mean, we started the year, there was 1.8 job openings for every job seeker, and now there's 1.4. So the job market is cooling off. You're hearing lots in the headlines about layoffs and companies going bunk. So ultimately, they're afraid, and they're c coming up with a backup plan just in case something happens to their job or their company. And I think it's a perfectly logical way of setting about your future. So what advice do you have for workers who are interested in that plan B? I think go for it. Update your LinkedIn, network with people in your industry, have conversations with people even at your company about what they're doing. This doesn't have to be a secret. It's actually quite logical. I'm career cushioning all the time. I'm networking with people that are in my industry. I mean, my boss probably knows it. He probably knows who I would call if something happened to my job. We don't have to act like we are going to be loyal to our companies for the rest of time. It doesn't take away from how all in I am at my job. It just means I'm being smart. So let's talk about the employers. For employers who are worried about their workers' career cushioning instead of investing in their current roles, what can they do to reassure and retain that talent? So I love the idea of radical transparency. The reason people are fearful is because they're getting surprised. They're finding out at the very last minute that something has happened to their job and then they're scrambling for a backup plan. But what if employers were radically transparent about the state of the business and allowed employees the free will to make decisions about whether or not they wanted to stay or not? I've done that in the past when I was the CHRO and we had layoffs. I told my team, some people found other jobs and I celebrate that fact and the people who stayed were all in on the purpose and those were the people I wanted to be on my team. So let's talk about unions. Unions can also play a crucial role in mitigating the impacts of layoffs, especially during an economic downturn. This year we've seen major strikes in industries like entertainment and auto, which resulted in wage gains and job security. What's your perspective on unionizing as a possible avenue for workers to protect their jobs? I think you're going to see a lot more of it in 2024. We're seeing more noise from disgruntled workers because they're not feeling heard. So if you're a CEO or a leader of a team, the best thing you can do is listen. Open up your ears, ask questions, find out what's frustrating your employees before they get to a union environment. And you can have a workplace where everyone gets what they want if only we were doing more listening and less talking at each other. Dr. Jessica Kriegel, thank you.